Amen. Amen. We enjoyed everything we heard. At this time, we're calling for our review, Brother Rodney. Come have words and then review us. Good. Be blessed, my brother. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good stuff. Good stuff. Encouraging us. Helping us not to get distracted by all the smoke. We need God's word. Amen. David's grief for Saul and Jonathan. Yes, yes. I want to ask a few questions. Okay. All right, so how did Saul die? How did Saul die? Well, he laid up on the sword. Huh? He died on the sword. Died on the sword. Good. Good. What do you want to say, Mother? That's okay. Same? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's Stop. in 1 Samuel 31, 3 through 6. Second mm -hmm. Samuel 1, 2 through 10. And then, and in 2 Samuel, it gives a little more detail. It says, somebody came back and told David, right? Y'all remember what this guy said? Anybody who dug into that? This guy came back and told David what happened to Saul. Saul that got killed, he on the sword. But this guy came back and gave a few more details. He got in trouble. Anybody remember what that was? He said that Saul had gotten injured, right? And Saul looked back at him and told him to kill him. Remember that? Yes. Saul told the man, Saul knew he was going to die, and Saul didn't want to be killed at the hands of the Philistines. So Saul told this guy to kill him. And this guy, anybody remember now what happened? This guy says that he killed him. Now, what was, this This is in this lesson, they, they skipped this part, but this, this was in this, so, David's reaction to this guy telling the king that he killed, no, it was the future king, right? But telling, telling David that he killed the king. What was David's reaction? Yeah. See if he got mad. He got mad. Mm. That was not good. He told the wrong man. <laughs> he told the wrong man. Because see, did, did, did David have a chance to kill Saul? Yes. yes. Many times. Many times. Yeah. And, and but one time in particular, the last time, mm -hmm. anybody remember that? Saul was asleep. Yes. David, David took Saul's sword while he was asleep, making this long story short, took Saul's sword mm -hmm. and his water, yes. went out, and then hollered, he didn't holler at Saul, he hollered at Saul's person who spoke in protecting Saul. Mm -hmm. Armor bearer. How are you protecting your Lord and I got his sword, I could have killed him. Da, 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 da. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. I'm bringing all that up to say, when he was, when David was hollering this stuff to, I can't remember his armor bearer's name, Saul said, is this not my son David. And so David's like, yes, you know, my Lord, I've got your sword and this and David. David is proving to him I was right there. Mm -hmm. And Saul's reaction to that was, I have sinned. Right? It's in the Bible. Saul said, Saul knew that David, because Saul was trying to kill David at that time. Yeah. And David, it was real to Saul. Saul was asleep. He was asleep. Everybody was asleep. Yes. He woke up, his sword is gone. David got his sword. Mm -hmm. So David just making a point. Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to kill me? I could have taken you right then. Mm -hmm. 
Saul says, I have sinned. Basically, you're better than I am. Mm -hmm. But David didn't kill Saul because why? He was, Saul was God's anointed. Mm -hmm. David knew who anointed Saul. David, David didn't have no right to touch who God had put. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, David had a chance to kill the man. Now, did all of this mean that David was not a man of war? Was not a warrior? No. I mean, that's why God wouldn't let David build a, a, king, a, a temple, thinking for the house of God, because he had blood on his hands, right? And I'll just say this. I'm, I'm going to say this. David was a man of war, and I've told people this, you know, many times it's the same thing that makes you bad makes you good. So, so God uses the foolish thing to confound the wise. So people, and I use this example a lot. I'm just so people, so people who are not usually quick tempered are usually good protectors, right? Yes, yes, they are. They are generally good protectors, and so, and they usually mature and, and try to work on that. But I'm just saying that God, there's, there's, whatever makes you bad, there's something about that that makes you good. God can use it yes. and give it to him. Anyway, all right, so, so David was a warrior. Uh, who else was killed with Saul? His son. His son, Jonathan and his, his other sons. Did David grieve for Jonathan only? No. 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 David lamented for both Saul and Jonathan. I said, what did Saul say when, when he found out that David could have killed him? Saul said, I have sinned. God was dealing with Saul. When Saul saw the mercy, this is the power of love, right? Yes. This is the power. That's some hot coals of fire, right? When we love people, mm -hmm. our enemies, powerful thing. Faith works by love. Can I say that we got faith and we don't have love? Not real faith, not God's faith, right? What does the Bible say is the beginning of wisdom? Fear the Lord, right? That's what David had. David was too, David was not going to touch God's anointing. We shouldn't do it either. Right. That God do God's God knows what He's doing. Yes. We pray for God's anointing, right? Yes. That's what we do. We pray for God's anointing. Mm -hmm. Now, Jonathan. Well, okay. So, so, so David was uh, lamenting. He was. He was lamenting. Uh, I was going to read something right quick. He was mourning for Saul and Jonathan. And Saul had done a lot of evil things to David. Like David could have said, this, this man was evil. You know? And that's what we read. He could have said, he had some stuff on Saul. But he didn't. Amen. Right? And it's just that they, they had something in the, in the book. It says, while we should not distort the truth about the departed, we are usually better served if we focus. Somebody say focus. Focus. Focus on their commendable attributes, not their failures. Yeah. And whenever somebody passed away. Mm -hmm. Says while we should not distort the truth, don't be up here lying, don't be lying. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't be lying. Don't try to put nobody in heaven Amen. about the part. But we are usually better served if we focus on their commendable attributes. Attributes, not the children. This is what David, David was doing. Now, Jonathan, 
This is interesting about Jonathan. Jonathan was loyal to his father. He was loyal to Saul. Yes. But he also had made a covenant with who? David. David. Mm. He loved David. They, they had a true bond, a true friendship. Yes. That yes. in that time, the book, the book explained at that time, Amen. the wife didn't really have, usually wasn't like a friend like that in that yeah. culture. They would just wasn't a you know, that just wasn't the way it was back then. So the type of relationship David and Jonathan had was better than a woman. Because yes. it was just different. Mm -hmm. Wasn't no foolishness that people try to make Amen. this out to be. <laughs> none of that. Amen. Wow. They go that far. They will. It wasn't none of that foolishness. It was just a genuine friendship. Amen. Right? Absolutely. That men have. I have friends that I'm just... Oh man, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. love him to death. Mm -hmm. uh, so David had made a covenant. Now he was loyal to his father. Mm -hmm. He was. He was loyal to David. Was a David was a soldier. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking about Jonathan. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Jonathan was a soldier, mm -hmm. and his father was king. So he was his king's. He was he was the king's soldier, and he was his son. Yeah. Jonathan was loyal. Yes. He was loyal. But he made a covenant with David. He, him, so so yeah. Jonathan, but. was this a difficult situation for Jonathan? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. We know that, okay, so we know that though Jonathan was loyal to his father, but, his, but concerning David, concerning David, was Saul right? Was Saul right? I'm asking a question. Was Saul right in trying to kill David? No. We know Saul wasn't right. Jonathan chose whose side in this? Whose side did Jonathan choose? David, which was God. It was the right side, right? I'm saying it was a difficult situation. I'm just trying to bring this down to us. It was a difficult situation that Jonathan was in. It was a difficult situation. And so, but, but Jonathan chose, the, it was God's side. It was the right side. Amen. Yes. That's right. And the book kind of made this point. You know, I, I love reading the book. Now, I'm going to tell you, you know, this book is written by me and, and some. But but I, I love reading it because they bring out a lot of good points. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. But this book is not the Word of God. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. It's not the Word of God. But but it's, it, it, it doesn't. Deserve. So they said something in here that was very interesting. They made the point that... In that sense, that Jonathan was had a difficult situation like that, but they said he should kind of be a good role model for us, and because we do have those situations in our families, yes, <laughs> we get bound between, you know, maybe blood and what's right. Yes. Amen. So when we choose God's side, will we ever go wrong? No. no. Never, never, never. That's, that was basically. Anybody else have any other comments or additions? I just want to say about the bow. He emphasized a lot about the bow. Mm -hmm. Meaning for to get the point across to the people, David. He lamented, but he also <laughs> wanted to make sure they understood what it meant when you lament. Mm -hmm. So I just thought maybe a little bit of. Mm -hmm. The Bose illustration is uh, had a lot to do today with some of the things that people need to, you know, kind of put, you know, their emphasis on a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 made a reference, uh, verse eighteen. Also, he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bow. Behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. And this context. In the, in the context of that, uh, Saul, David was, uh, he, he was really inspired by Saul's and Jonathan's, uh, uh, their, the use of the boat, the, the, the way they, <clears throat> being a warrior was, 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 a, was a big thing back then, in this culture, in the, in the culture of the Bible, they were warriors. And when you read that verse in the book of Jasher, I've got the book of Jasher, and I read that verse, it was actually talking about, uh, and the weapons of war. When you continue, it says, it, it taught them the, the use of the bow and the weapons of war. 
it was, it, you know, but that's that's what he was talking about. But but David was lamenting in when he said that he was grieving for Saul and John. So just that, that was just a context. That was just a context of that. Uh, but, but amen. But 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 love our faith works by love. And I'm gonna tell you one of the most simplest, one of the the Bible calls it the word of law. As we would men to do to us, we do to them likewise. Amen. Don't get, you can't, you can't pass, I can't jump over you to get to God. Amen. That's right. I, I can't do that. So, I can't say that I, lo I love a God that I haven't seen mm -hmm. and I'm not treating you right. Thanks, real. So, you can't get too deep for real love. Right. And everybody is somebody. Yes. That's right. Amen. All right. Amen. Nothing else. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit today, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you that your word is keeping us. Thank you for more understanding, God. Thank you for more wisdom. Thank you for giving us more knowledge to understand so that we can be wise, Father. Thank you. We, we're constantly praying for the sick and the shut. Yes. We thank you for healing. We thank that your your peace is going through the bodies of those who are attacked by the enemy today. We thank you that you're lining it and you're lining everything out by your word, with the word. So we thank you. We thank you for the word that's coming forth. And we thank you for everything that you're doing by your spirit, for your glory. We thank you forever. Sunday school offering.